Hello, welcome to another short video by Q in Motion about electronics devices. Today we're going to talk about resistance, resistors, and Ohm's law. Resistance is the opposition to flow of current. A lower resistance will allow a higher current to pass, and a higher resistance will allow a lower current to pass. Good conductors have low resistance, and good insulators have high resistance. Resistance is measured in ohms and its symbol is an uppercase Greek letter omega. A device whose primary function is to insert resistance in a circuit is called a resistor. And here on screen you can see the symbol and what they look like. The smaller resistors usually have their value printed on its body with color coded bands. You can do a quick search on the internet about resistor color code and you will find everything you need to know about that. Let's measure some resistors here. I have on the breadboard three different resistors. The one at uh, the top is a 1 kilo ohm resistor. If I measure it here, the meter measures 998 ohms, so very close. The second one is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So if I measure it, the meter measures 9.94 kilo ohms. So very close again. And the last one is a 47 kilo ohm resistor and it measures at 46.6. Resistors respond to something called Ohm's law. Ohm's law defines the relationship between voltage, current and resistance according to the equations that you see on screen. So basically, it says that the relationship between voltage and current is linear and the quotient between those two is the resistance. Keep in mind that not all devices respond to Ohm's law. There are some devices like diodes, LEDs, transistors and others that uh, do not respond to these equations. And sometimes applying twice the voltage would not result in twice the current, as it would be predicted by Ohm's law. Let's try to verify Ohm's law. I have this resistor, which is 1 kilo ohm, connected to a variable voltage power supply. The meter on the left is measuring the voltage at 1 volt, and the meter on the right is measuring the current, which is showing right now 1 milliamp. If I increase the voltage, I have 2.16 volts on, uh, applied to the resistor and 2.14 milliamps flowing through it. If I increase the voltage again, I have 3.92 volts applied and 3.9 milliamps. If I keep increasing the voltage, 5.6 uh, and 5.6 milliamps. At 8.47, volts I have 8.43 milliamps. So as you can see the relationship between the voltage and uh, the current measured in milliamps is 1000, right? Per 1 volt we have 1 milliamp and uh, if you divide 1 volt by 1 milliamp the result is 1 kilo ohm which is the value of the resistor. If I take out this resistor and put a higher resistor with a value of 47 kilo ohms, the current is going to be lower, 0 0.18 milliamps. So I'm going to increase the voltage here to 15 volts. and the current is uh, 0 0.32 milliamps. So if you do the math, this should be very close to 47 kilo ohms. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned about resistance, resistors and Ohm's law. See you next time with Kirchhoff's voltage law. Thank you, bye bye.